In this video, I'm gonna show you how to absolutely scream and get instant sacks against Trip Side In, even when they max protect. Even when they block seven people, we are gonna be able to get instant pressure. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And in this video, we are talking about the Nickel Triple. Now, the Nickel Triple is my favorite defense in this game to blitz out of. I absolutely love this defense when it comes to sending pressure out of this. Now, we can find this, play, uh, this formation in two defensive playbooks that I want to really highlight. The first one is the Chicago Bears defensive playbook. The second one is the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook. Both playbooks are really, really, really good depending on your play style. Now, uh, we're going to talk about a very special little defense that you can use against strip side in. I like to run this out of the nickel blitz two. You don't have to use nickel blitz two. You could use, um, you could use either the cover three cloud or the cover six or the Tampa two. Those are all really good. Actually, you know what? Let's do it out of Tampa two just to make it a little easier on us from an adjustments perspective. So we're going to do this out of Tampa 2, but Tampa 2, Nickel Blitz 2, uh, Cover 3, Cloud is really good to do this out of, Cover 6. Those are the plays you want to utilize. You could do this out of Nickel Blitz 1 um, or or uh, Cover 1 LB Blitz, any of the man blitzes, you could do that as well. So uh, anyways, we're going to show this out of Tampa 2. And if you want to learn my entire Nickel Triple defense, I would really encourage you to go ahead and uh, pick up my Patreon membership. I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. You can get the full Nickel Triple ebook by subscribing to the Patreon. For the Patreon membership, it's just 10 bucks a month, and it gets you immediate access to every offensive and defensive ebook that I've released so far this season. Now, what you're going to notice with this Tampa 2 is if you take a look here, this guy right here is basically man aligned. It's going to cause um, essentially a man aligned look. Now, if I were to audible um, to the Nickel Blitz, you're going to notice here that he's going to move back across the formation. And and go to the right side. Um, if I were to audible to cover three cloud though, you see he's gonna come back over here. So those are some different coverages. I actually really like to do this out of cover three cloud. Cover three cloud, honestly, is probably my favorite defense to use this blitz from. Um, but it's a very simple, it's a six man pressure. And like I said, we're gonna guarantee this pressure against max protect. Now, um, let's say for example, I just wanna show you a simple blitz concept. This is a five out uh, setup. And all we're going to do is we're gonna shade our coverage down. We're going to blitz that slot corner off the left edge and we're going to QB contain. And then what I like to do is take Simmons right here and user him. I actually like to show blitz a lot out of this look. And then you could even like bring this guy down if you will. And you can have a really, really good little coverage. So as you can see here, it's a five man blitz. I'm sending five out. And what you should see here is we're going to get pressure off the left edge. See, they're going to come from that defensive end or it's going to come from that slot cornerback. Now the problem uh, with this uh, with this setup comes whenever our opponent likes to uh, go ahead and um, and and, and uh, block right. So uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to run the PA crossers and we're going to set it up kind of the, the meta way that most people if they were running this play would set it up just like this right here. And what you're going to notice is if I were to run that same blitzing concept. Um, although it is a really good blitzing concept, the problem becomes whenever they block this running back. What you'll see is this running back oftentimes will get picked up, and now I got all the time in the world to be able to throw the ball. Now, there's a couple ways around it, but I'm going to show you my favorite. And the reason why it's my favorite is because it's also going to come in consistently even against a block tight end. So what we're going to do is if we have any inclination that they might be blocking their running back or they might be blocking their tight end, this is my favorite blitz in the game. So, again, I like to do this. You could do this out of cover three cloud. It's probably the best out of that, but you could do it out of any of those stuff. Uh, but what we're going to do here is we are going to blitz the slot corner or that corner that's on that side and then we're also going to blitz the linebacker so you see here we're going to blitz this middle linebacker he's going to be in that gap now i've got hard flat coverage the one thing i've got to watch off the rip is i have to pay attention to the seams on the right side of the screen now on the left side or on the left side of the screen on the right side of the screen i'm going to be pretty okay uh pretty okay okay so what you're going to see is i'm going to stand kind of right here and uh, at the snap of the ball you're going to see it's going to be play action and you're going to get this instant uh shed animation and you're going to get the sack so let me jump into instant replay and show you this this is my favorite blitz against trip side in the game um pa counter go doesn't pick this up why because this guy's coming through the a gap 
gap, right? He's going to come right through the A gap. So the running back has to pick this guy up. And then as you see here, we get this nice little disengage off this left side, and we're going to get that slot cornerback coming in quick. And, and, and you see the tight end blocks nobody. So that's my favorite thing is when we get that tight end to not block anybody, then as you can see, we're able to guarantee our pressure. Now, I want to show one other blitzing setup here. If you want to learn the rest of nickel triple defense, like I said, please check out the Patreon. I'm telling you right now, you won't regret it. It's got the best stuff in the community by far. We've got everything that you need to be successful over there. So if they give you a look like this, this is a look that No Up Next utilized uh, a lot. Again, audible to cover three cloud. What you're going to notice is if you audible to that cover three cloud, he's going to move over to that right side of the screen, as you can see right there. Now, the problem is now we don't have that nickel corner. So if we check back into Tampa 2 here, let me see if I can get this guy back over here. It's all right if I can't. Um, but if they audible into this, obviously it's a motion out setup. Um, so you know what? Let me just throw the ball away and let me show you what happens. So you're going to be in cover three cloud. You're going to have the guy down. You're going to have your basic uh, deal set up. And then they're going to audible into this. So again, I want to show you kind of what you're going to get. So if I'm in cover three cloud, let's say, for example, that I've set this blitzing concept up, just like I said, and then we've got the hard flat and we're coming down just like this. Okay. Please, please, please pay attention to what I'm about to show you. Noah up next is famous for this. What he does, he motions this guy out. Why? because the tight end picks up most of the pressure. So as you can see right here, nobody follows a running back. Now, what can we do? Well, a couple things. We can just feel free to leave that guy there. That's fine. We're going to be fine. Um, literally, you can sit in this and be pretty much okay. Uh, but all we're going to do now, because the running back comes out, we're going to contain because we don't have to worry about play action blocking. And then we're going to take that uh, middle linebacker. And now what we can do with him is man him up on that circle receiver so that that's taken away. And now what you're going to see here is this pressure should come in. As you can see, the snap throw fade is not going to be opportunity or uh, it's not going to be open because of the cover three cloud coverage so what we've done uh realistically what we've what we've really done here whoops um what we've done by setting this blitz up just like so like i showed you in the uh, setup breakdown uh is now we've kind of hedged our bet because if they want to do this right here that's really not a big 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 deal uh to this defense why because we have the outside third on the right from that safety and then we have this guy who we can man up on this guy right here and then as you can see now we're in a position where we might get a plus one advantage off of this outside so as you can see right there you get that easy instant edge pressure and now you've bagged one of the best setups one of the best setups for pressure in this game so uh that is one of the many many reasons why i really do love the nickel triple defense if you are looking to get a defense on the field that is going to consistently send the the best pressure in this game i would really encourage you to check out that nickel triple you can get the entire defense by joining my patreon membership if you want to join the patreon membership head on down to the description click that link and you can join that today thanks for watching and we will see you guys next time